Zach again at NewTutorial.com. I wanted to come in and do a video. Um, today I'm going to show you some of our candle making. All of our light that we use uh, in our houses is either candle or kerosene lantern for the most part. All of our solar panels that we have are just for aquaponics and for running our phone and DSL line for our wireless internet. But in our houses at night, the only light we have is candle and uh, kerosene lanterns. And so I want to show you how we're making our candles. We're making candles now for a few months and we are making them from, well, I'll tell you, I'll let uh, Tim show you, uh, my father-in-law show you how we're doing it and explain, you know, where the, the source comes from. So uh, what do we have? Hey, right, well, the first thing we've got to do is we make our, uh, my hammer off. we have palm oil and we've got to break up the palm oil. We get big chunks of it like that. Okay, let me get a close up of that. So, uh, this is pure palm oil. Palm oil. It's not like the palm oil you buy on the stores that's been crystallized so it, it pours and cooks easy. Yeah, this is the hard stuff. Yeah, it's the hard. It melts at 95 degrees. Okay. Then I put it on the stove. I've already got this one done. Okay. And melt it out. Fire going good. And I pour it into a container so I can handle it better. Okay, yeah. I've been working on these a little bit this morning. I want you to use an old mason jar, it looks like. And yeah. Um, we've been using like old fruit jars, like you, you buy fruit jars at the store with some um, fruit preserves in them. You take those and we turn those into uh, candle holders as well. There's lots of different things you can use uh, to make the candles. I lost my wick. Uh-oh. There you go. Okay. So the first mistake that I made is I bought small little number nine wicks but they don't generate enough heat. So I uh, twisted the wick, so I doubled the wick to generate enough heat to melt the wax in the candle. And the, the next batch I bought was a number 16 wick. And they, they do a much nicer job with making a flame. The smaller the wick, the less the flame you have. So the, this is one that we're still using. And it gives an it gets that uh, wax melted, gets a nice big flame. Mm. Very good. And here, here's a big one that I made earlier. Yeah. And so we have these all around our houses and we use these um, basically at night with our kerosene lanterns. We have our kerosene lanterns. I'll give you a quick picture here. Here's one there at night. And so um, what we're doing is just using these in conjunction with those and these provide light for all, all around the house. We keep them in our kitchens and in the living room and even in the bedrooms if we need them and uh, in the bathroom along with the kerosene and so that's what that's what we're using for our light and we're making our own candles and uh, I don't know where you would get this we got this from our good friend Travis Huey who runs myaquafarm.com you can go to that website myaquafarm.com I always give a chance to plug that website anytime I can uh, he brought these to us and said hey you know take these and, and use them for candle making or for Maybe some other things, but I think candle making was his real intention on giving these to us. And we're doing that. We're making candles with this. And um, I know him and his wife, Lori, are probably watching the video. And and uh, so there, there you go. We're, we're actually using these as candles, and we have been for a few months now. And it uh, gives, a, again, a great light source for our, our families at night. And uh, we're really fortunate enough to have them. I've got four more blocks like this uh, down in our barn. And this... Uh, this has lasted already for a few months. I, I mean, we're probably looking at years worth of... We have a uh, lifetime supply, maybe. A, a lifetime supply of candles. So we're very excited. And uh, anyway, we just thought I'd show you. People are asking for more homestead videos. And we thought we'd show you what we're doing around here for light. And so that's what we're doing. So hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something. Go out and, and maybe try your own if you can find a, a wax source. There's lots of candle making tutorials on YouTube and other websites. So anything else? No, nope, that'll do it. All right. Thanks. Well, we'll leave it at that. Go home, read your Bible. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>